Namaste. In the last couple of videos, we've been going through the words which has been mentioned in at the index of my book. So this particular video also continuation of the same. Here we will be going through the rest of the words which is mentioned in at the index of this particular book. So let us have further look into the words those are in at the index of this particular book sound the delegate this is we have discussed in at the previous video and the next word in this list is pancha pancha means fire according to indian cosmology or the indus valley cosmology there are five elements which made our body those are prithvi which means earth vayu water akash and agni so these are the five elements according to uh, indian cosmology our body is been made of not only our body uh, everything in a, this physical universe like which we can interact with is been made of this five elements so this five or pancha has a very uh, uh, certainly very important place in at the cosmological science we will it has a very important place so this is why the pancha is been uh, described in this book the next one is akash akash means the sky or the ether in uh, yogic terminology yogic terminology the uh, ether is referred to the akash and vayu vayu is the um, the next word in this list is vayu vayu is the oxygen like you know the the space which we contains into like you know it's, it's not just the uh, oxygen as such if we really go deep into the sanskrit word meaning of the vayu it's this is actually kind of space where the entire creation is been contains so this is the vayu prana so prana is the vital breath what does it mean everything like you know imagine a space which is a vayu and matter that is earth and these two things cannot be do the leela which means that the dance of eternity cannot do the dance of eternity uh if if all these things are jeta which means that is all that so something the some kind of uh, force that has to make these elements to act uh, accordingly so this is called prana in all the temples all the temples the idols is been consecrated with the help of prana there are some certain technique there are some tantric techniques that enables this particular idol or the particular uh, thing to 
behave according to the sanatan dharma which is the universal truth so there is something is been consecrated into these idols with some certain techniques so what we are giving is prana and how we are acting it is also prana the amount of the prana will be different from thing to thing or person to person or matter to matter or stuff to stuff is different so the prana the word meaning of the prana is the vital breath pratishta pratishta is the installation or the consecration is not just installation like installing a deity no is consecrating a deity giving a giving a prana so this is um, entirely known as prana pratishta so the next uh, concept which is described in this index worshiping in the oriental concept is to consecrate and try to become one with like for example we are putting a deity um let's say it is sri rama so we are consecrating that particular deity in a particular temple now what we have to do we worship it it has a it has given a prana with some certain techniques now people come to there they worship it and they become one with that particular deity means they show the uh, characteristics of that particular deity in order to be get merged with the absolute so they become one with that particular deity then from that particular point of time he will get in sync with other ideas and methodologies in the uh, uh, oriental ideas so this is the entire concept of temple like you are going there you are sitting there you are meditating a bit and you uh, you understanding the deity and the idea the the deity is representing and uh, uh, getting that idea into your body and being in sync with the one and and get into that particular uh, transcendental eternity which 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 transcend the space and time that uh, which 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 you are present into so this is this is the entire idea of worshiping in a temple sahasrara <coughs> sahasrara is a is a chakra when <coughs> when when your sahasrara is a is a chakra when when you are uh, working with the prana um and you are trying to take that prana into higher 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 with some certain yogic techniques or some with some meditation or some something that sort like the last level the prana reaches is sahasrara is a thousand petal lotus so in that layer the prana blossoms and you will get uh, kind of bliss and ecstasy which which cannot be explained through words like the rumi 
if we look into the poetry of rumi we can see that rumi talks about the gods and goddesses but he also says he is one with that so this is what sahasrara does the next word in this list is sushupna sushupna is the nadi if we look into yogic ideology there is ida and pinkala which goes spiral way and in the middle the sushupna goes and the prana when you take from the muladhara the through the sushupna the prana goes to sahasrara this is how the prana works and this is how you reach the higher order of existence or eternity or bliss ida ida we have spoken the left side called supana the ida pingala and sushupna the left side is ida pingala pingala is the right side right side of this and their system is known as pinkla the nadi we see is is kind of co- is coiled serpent this is the way the prana goes so there is ida pinkla and sushupna prakruti the next word in this particular list is prakruti prakruti is the we have described in the previous video prakruti is the is the place where the leela happens kali we have described so the next personality in this uh, book is this uh, speaking about is Ma- malcolm x He is an african american muslim minister and human right activist who was assassinated he was a popular figure during the civil right movement in the us it's very interesting to study about the uh, malcolm x history and that will give more insight into the things the next thing in the in this list is puja puja is the offering like you know we go to the temple and we offer something so this is called puja kashi we have spoken samuchayam there is a book there is a historic book in uh, indian cosmology this is called tantra samuchayam according to tantra samuchayam the constructions is been done and uh, uh, constructions of the temples is been done so this is the if we translate uh, this samuchayam word into english uh, this will be uh, known as also known as buildings so uh, in order for uh, general public to experience the tantra samuchayam there is there is uh, there is something that is called vastu in the japanese techniques like feng shui and all uh, there is a small small arrangement in house that can increase a lot of energy in that, uh, that particular area this is this is been speaking in the uh, feng shui technique and uh, vastu is much more deeper it is much more profound uh, in the rules and regulations which we can find in uh, tantra samuchaya so this is a kind of spiritually correct architecture how can we build something very spiritually correct and profound so that it can bring a sense of peace and joy and things like that into that particular area uh, the movement of the prana how it can be accelerated the movement of the life how it can be happen all these things uh, it brings into a single place uh, with the help of vastu 
Kamasutra is a it's a religious text Kamasutra is a religious text uh, which is been written by one of the sage from India in order to experience really deep and transcendental love between the couples it's a very interesting book to look into and uh, there are multiple things available in amazon as well like uh, kama sutra cards like you know you can you can buy these kama sutra cards and play the things with your uh, partner in order to experience more ecstasy and spice and love uh, in your uh, bedroom vairagya vairagya is detachment meaning the sensual pleasures sensual pleasures has a limit when you enjoy all these sensual whatever the senses can give that is called sensual pleasures pleasures so whatever the sense can give you this is the sensual pleasures once you experience the most of them you will be feeling a kind of detachment so you will start to seek is there something beyond all this uh, sensuality or the materialistic pleasures that can lead you to moksha that uh, which we have spoken in the previous video um so when at the end of the sensual pressures the vairagya starts idi vairagya like all the if you look into all the vedas uh, everything idi idi it starts like that idi vedanta like now let's begin the <coughs> vedanta hmm? similar way idi vairagya when the pleasures end from there the vairagya starts anuraga anuraga is the sixth state of intensity in love other stages are premam manam sneham pranayam rasam anuragam and bhavam mahabhavam so these are the status of anuragam the love love is the the way you feel the love is not just the physical attraction it has different stages step by step it will go and this all comes into experiential level and experiential level of ecstasy it's not about the speaking it's it's, it's to experience how far you can experience the love between your uh, uh, partner how deep you can go how what is the depth of the love which you can go with your partner so these are the six stages of six stages of love which goes and the sixth state is called the anuraga sanatana dharma sanatana dharma means the the dharma sanatan dharma the entire indian cosmology we can call it as sanatana dharma means the other religions the the religions so called religions it comes with the rules and it imposes rules in the human being like uh, in bible there are 10 commandments so it's impose this is the way you have to live whereas the sanatan dharma is the dharma which you feel that exist when you dig deep into your own self and that goes in synchronicity with your life so the dharma can be differ from person to person and uh, dharma can be different from 
space and time because it's ever changing this is the thing we have to get this is the thing we have to understand sanatan dharma means the dharma or the rules and regulations which exist already mudra mudra is like gestures like you know this is a mudra this is a mudra this is a mudra this is a mudra so these are the mudras this is also a mudra so when we chant a, a tantric uh, uh, or when we chant a mantra there is a mudra is associated with for example when we do the prana pradishta there are mudras like this is existing while we are keeping the prana and while we are uh, doing the prana to flow through this particular deity there are particular different 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 kind of mudras are existing so this this makes that deity to go in life what happens here in mudras there is a rule of the universe is existing and your body is not separate from the universe so when you activate energy in your body you can connect your nerves the points of nerves which is called marma and activate this part of energy in your body so the the flow of energy is too intense uh, it will be purify the people and things around you if you do it in a proper way tantra samuchi we have spoken is a book kamakya um, kamakya is the devi temple in the outskirts of guwahati city in assam india on the banks of the river braham brahmukha kamakya in the outskirt of guwahati city in assam india on the banks of river brahmukha situated the most powerful shakti temple in india where the deity is the yoni of sadi the erstwhile concept of shiva along with the the sati there are other 10 goddesses the uh, the 10 tantric goddesses kali tara shodasi like that there are 10 tantric goddesses if we follow correctly it will evoke your prana step by step into higher order and the puja the ritualistic worship we have spoken the masculine essence attribute to shiva the next word is shiva is the masculine essence that equate with shiva so if we look into our own self like you know you can see this is yin and yang so there is a negative and positive and there is a positive in the negativity and there is a negativity in the positivity this is the abstract symbolism of the philosophical idea or the philosophical truth the similar way in india the masculinity is been associated with the shiva so this is called shiva thank you for watching we will see more in the next video